Good afternoon, Rochester Area Builder members. It's two o'clock. We'll get this out to you as soon as we can. Just want to give you a little update. Uh, first, had conversations with Rochester Building Safety Department. They're going to continue their inspection process that they had in place, uh, the first COVID-19 uh, procedures that they had, where they will do inspections on uh, new construction, remodeling with occupied homes. They will not enter and they do not consider the homeowners being out of the home unoccupied. So they will work with you taking video or pictures or FaceTime uh, film, or I guess video nowadays, sorry. Um, so um, be patient. Uh, they are really trying to keep things moving along. Uh, Gary Dutton has been fantastic communicating with, uh, with our office about what's going on. Uh, uh, Randy Johnson did say uh, that if you are a subcontractor, you really should start using online uh, uh, requests, inspection requests. Uh, that's going to be the best way. So if you've been holding off, now is the time to do it. Uh, so start using uh, online requests. Uh, I had a BAM call today. Uh, some of you have been reaching out saying, hey, my industry is not listed. Uh, that list is evolving. Uh, BAM is continuing to work with uh, the Department of Labor and Industry, the commissioner on refining that list. I don't think people really understand how intertwined our industry is. So uh, stay tuned, watch that list if you are. Uh, and then uh, next week we will be publishing our newsletter. Shelly's been working really hard on the newsletter, our, our a special edition uh, with the uh, COVID-19 issue, which is sad to say, but that's what we're going to do. Um, there will be some information from NHB. Uh, there'll be a job site safety toolbox kit. There'll be a checklist for, uh, which is a checklist for employers and employees. There'll be a poster that you can post on your job sites about uh, safety and how we can keep our job sites as safe as we can from a sanitized uh, standpoint. And then a potential exposure letter. Hopefully nobody will be able to use, have to use that, but it will be available in case you do have somebody uh, that's been exposed to COVID-19 and, and procedures. So watch for that, it'll be very helpful information. That is coming from NHB. So RAB, BAM, and NHB all are working hard for you. And thank you for your membership and stay tuned and we will keep you updated. Oh, one other thing. Um, if you have office staff that can work remotely, our staff except for me has been working from home since last Wednesday. If you have support staff that can work from home, they must work from home. So keep that in mind. If you have some people, they have to work from home if they can, if they can work remotely. And that's what we've been doing uh, here. So um, hang in there and we will keep you updated as, as well as we can and, and have a great weekend and, and try to have some fun with your family, uh, get them out and about and uh, we'll talk again. Thank you very much.